Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. Uh, this video provides a demonstration of how to cook a new dish, use templates-based cooking and flavor chasing to achieve the outcome that I was looking for. And my friend Janet was originally from El Salvador. As she and her husband were coming for dinner, I know that she loves beans, and I would like to surprise her with this black bean dish. Since speed is essential uh, in my fast cooking system, so I'm going to cook this dish in my 14-inch Cucina stainless steel wok. Uh, I'm going to start with 8 ounces of seasoned ground pork that came from Janet's farm. Uh, since they love pork, and they really enjoy eating pork, uh, come from the hog farm. Uh, I use my basic uh, ground pork stir fry template and I cook them until they start to turn brown and even slightly charred to get the crispy texture that I'm looking for. Uh, this part of the template is familiar to me. Uh, I mix season the ground pork with my basic seasoning mix as a starting point uh, to give them some umami flavor. Uh, I make up my basic seasoning mix uh, from the seasoning agents in my masala daba. Uh, I use this basic seasoning mix almost in most of my dishes, usually as a starting flavor. Uh, to enhance the flavor of the ground pork, I'm going to add some lemon pepper and paprika to reach the flavor profile that I am looking for. So what I'm doing here uh, is flavor chasing. By starting with uh, seasoning agents that I'm familiar with uh, to construct the flavor of the dish. Uh, the reason I add the seasoning agent now rather than later is uh, because they are going to coat and incorporate into the ground pork uh, due to the high heat. And next, I'm going to add some soy sauce uh, because I want the ground pork to take on a strong flavor for them to stand out in the dish. Uh, I use this technique to cook ground pork most of the time and I know what I'm doing at least up to this point. So okay, the ground pork is almost done. Next, I'm going to add a can of a black bean. Uh, this is then followed by a can of diced tomatoes. Uh, for convenience, I use uh, both of them from cans. However, I definitely would use fresh garden tomatoes uh, during the summer. Uh, so now the dish uh, is essentially cooked, and the next part was to season the dish. I turned the heat to low for the gentle simmer. Uh, to achieve a like baked bean-like flavor, uh, I add some sugar to sweeten the dish. So I did not follow any recipe to season the dish. Instead, I follow my taste preference uh, to find my target flavor, which I know that I will enjoy. Uh, next, I add some white distilled vinegar after I, I did a taste test uh, to provide the sourness I want in this dish. Uh, this will give me a ketchup-like flavor to the dish. Uh, this is my flavor chasing process. Uh, I continue to taste test and make adjustments accordingly. This is what makes cooking fun for me. Uh, after another taste test, I add more sugar to give a little bit uh, more sweetness to the dish. So I think at this point, uh, the dish is close to my target flavor. So I'm going to finish up the dish by sprinkling some cornstarch directly into the wok to slightly thicken the sauce. Uh, normally, I make a cornstarch suspension, but there's enough fluid in the wok, so I'm not worrying about the cornstarch clumping. Uh, as they often said, a good-looking dish uh, tastes good. So I found some colored bell pepper in the refrigerator, and I add to it uh, with a dash of bright color. Uh, well, I have achieved the speed in cooking this dish admirably, uh, with it cooking under 7 minutes. Now, with constant stirring uh, in the wok, a foot definitely cooks faster. So what is the verdict? First of all, let me speak for myself. I love the flavor of the dish. I think I have achieved my target flavor of somewhere between baked beans and chili. I also enjoy the texture of the black bean in combination with the diced tomatoes. So how about my guest Janet? Now, uh, she loves the black beans, and she enjoys the flavor. However, she told me she probably would like it more spicy and less sweet. Uh, Janet uh, loves mixing the white rice with this dish. Uh, she told me that back home, they call bean and rice the marriage, uh, because they are inseparable. And finally, the last part of flavor chasing is to garnish the dish with some scallions, which will provide taste, flavor, texture, and color uh, to the dish. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, Jade 
worked for my parents as a domestic help, and she was like a second mother to me. And she taught me one thing about cooking: be audacious to go after the flavor that you like. A flavor chaser could not be timid. Uh, I did not understand what it meant at the time, but now I know, and I would like to pass this sentiment to you now. I thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I see you next time.